So hi guys, this is Chetan Pudar back again and uh, today I thought let me do uh, do and make a video for you uh, explaining what is an iceberg order and two, what is the depth of the market and how people use it and why you should not use it. Let's uh, try to understand what is an iceberg. Yeah, While you are traveling, there is a big formation of ice which you see on this particular sea. Yeah, So this is the ship which you are traveling. Uh, yeah. So this is the shape and then this is the, then there you, you are here and you see this ice and while you see this ice, uh, you say, okay, okay, this ice seems to be pretty small. So I can, you know, circumvent this ice. I can go very close to this ice and I can circumvent this ice, but that would be a bad idea. Why? Iceberg. Yeah. And icebergs are uh, found in the Arctic region and the Antarctic region towards the north and the south. Now, when you're traveling here, it's a very bad idea to get very close to this. Why? Because while you can see this, while you can see this block of ice, what you do not realize is that there is a massive, this same ice formation is a massive formation, but most of it is under the water. And only a small portion of it is above. And what you are going to do is, if you get very close to this, you are going to bump inside this ice and uh, you are going to capsize your boat and you don't want that right so the similar concept so what is an iceberg iceberg is a block of ice which is floating in the sea where a very small portion of it is above the water and the rest of it is below the water yeah but before i talk to you about an iceberg order i'm just going to move my camera over to another part um, uh, on a bsc website or a nse website uh, which is BSE's Bombay Stock Exchange and NSE's National Stock Exchange. These are the exchanges of India. So here you go. Now we are on the website of Bombay Stock Exchange and uh, this is the website of Bombay Stock Exchange. This is uh, the, uh, the chart of Bombay Stock Exchange or BSE Sensex. And these are the, you know, 30 different components of BSE. And now when you click on this particular, let's say, let's, let's look at a, an example of TCS. Uh, if I roll my mouse over here, you will see this small box and one says price, second says Grif. And the third one says stock reach. So if I click on the stock reach, what you are going to get is this. This is the page which you're going to come down. Now this uh, is a page which will tell you information about that particular uh, company and the stock of that company. So this is TCS. And uh, while this is TCS, and now this is public information. All of you from any part of the world can actually go and have a look at this uh, particular um, information. And this is a chart of the stock. Uh, this side uh, comes the news, different types of news, yeah. And uh, this is uh, the statistics of the stock. And uh, what I would like to focus towards is this particular box in the center. It's called as the depth of market or market depth. Now what depth of market does is, uh, today being a weekend and I'm making a video on a weekend, uh, this is not filled. But when the market is going on, uh, this actually gets filled. Now this left side of the column is called as the buy column. And right side of the column is called as the sell column. Now what happens here is uh, when the markets are going on, you will see the prices, which are the bid prices over here. Yeah. So, uh, so let's say for example, we are uh, working on the price of 2,411. So here would be 2,400. Um, uh, here would be uh, 2,395. Here would be 2390, 2385, 2380. So these are all the people who are bidding to buy this stock. And subsequently, at whatever price there is, there is going to be the amount of quantity which is displayed. Which means if you say 2400, then there would be about 1000 quantity to be bought at 2400. And if you go further down, um, uh, you're looking at 2395 there would be about 2000 stocks bought and th this would be 2390 and there would be about 10,000 stocks so uh, this box on the left hand side it tells you the quantity and the price at which the quantity is available for people people are buyers are waiting to buy the stock at that particular price now if you move towards the right hand side what you are going to see is you are going to see the price and you are going to see the quantity of people who want to sell so this is an offer price so let's, this could be 2405 2410 2415 20 25 and 2405 would have about 10000 shares 2410 would have about, about 15000 shares and so on and so forth which means when this price and this price kind of tallies when 
the price of 2400 and 2400 tallies the uh, trade happens between the the buyer and the seller and when the trade happens this trade gets logged into this price yeah so that's the basic normal way in which the stock market works so uh, bid prices on the left um, uh, offer prices on the right when the bid and the offer price match when the buyer is agreeing to the seller's price and when the seller is agreeing to the buyer's price the stocks get uh, sold and bought and uh, this is how now what happens is there are a lot of smart people in the stock market who think that this information of how many buyers are at what price and how many sellers are at what price is a crucial information and they can take that information to make money for themselves that is what they think but let me tell you that it is an extremely wrong way of thinking and uh, now uh, allow me to explain to you why uh, uh, for number one that uh, while this information is available here uh, this information never discounts that somebody is going to come in the market and buy the stock at a buy price or a sell price buy price so if i have to buy a stock and if i'm in too much of a hurry i'm just going to put a market order and when you put a market order what i'm doing is uh, whatever the price is here let's say if i want to buy 10000 stocks of of um, the tcs i'm just going to put a market order of tcs at uh, of 10000 stocks and whatever amount is here is going to be given to me so if this is about 5000 shares i will get 5000 shares from here and then the uh, my trade will move to the next and i will get 5000 shares from here if i don't get 5000 shares from here it will move here and it will i'll get 5000 so till the time i get 5000 shares the first shelf second shelf and the third shelf is going to be taken up right which means all these people who are waiting in the queue at that particular price are not going to get that stock why because this guy he wants to buy the stock at um, 2400 and he wants to sell it at 2405 so if i put a market buy order i am just going to buy that stock at 2405 i am jump, going to jump him in the queue you understand what i'm saying yeah so uh, uh, this is the way so hence uh, the moment you put a buy order which is a market order this whole thing gets uh, goes for a toss and it's of no use but the bigger part and hence uh, uh, this uh, depth of market is of no use because it just does not capture the information of the buy order uh, I'll, I'll i'll explain to you why uh, uh, iceberg orders are a problem and what is an iceberg order now if i go back uh, to uh, the drawing the iceberg yeah so this is the water and this is the iceberg and uh, so what does the iceberg order do is and these are also called as hidden order hidden orders now hidden orders are orders which are allowed by the yeah which means for example if i had to buy uh, a 50000 share of a particular company you actually have a choice where you could display only 5000 and the rest 45000 will be hidden so till these 5000 shares do not get sold off the next uh, next set of shares will not be put up for sell which means the way this is going to go about is and let me just quickly move my screen here a little bit the 5000 is going to be displayed and there is 45000 remaining and the moment this 5000 gets sold out of this 45 5000 gets displayed and 40000 continues to be hidden and the moment this 5000 gets sold this so let's call this 40000 yeah 5000 gets displayed and 35000 is hidden now this will continue till the time all the shares are sold in the market which basically means that when you are looking at the previous example and uh, let me show you the example again uh, if i could usually there are five columns but uh, there this is called as depth of market d o m or depth of market or market depth depth of market or market depth it could also be called as a super dome s u p e r d o m uh, and you can get about 100 of these so uh, you need to have a special software for it some of the trading platforms uh, advanced trading platforms do get this uh, special software you can have 100 of them yeah but it's not needed again i say that it is of no use so let's say for example there is uh, somebody who wants to buy 
10 shares at 100 rupees and uh, um, 95 and 90 and 85 and 80 and each of these 10 shares each all of them want to buy 10 shares each and this guy who wants to sell uh, 200 shares at the price of 105 so 105 110 115 120 125 and then there is uh, 200 and then there is 100 and there is uh, 50 and then there is 10 so till these buyers do not get their stock at their price they will not move from here until the time these sellers do not sell off their stock at this price yeah they are not going to sell so this is let me just put it in a different color this is the price this is also the price and this is the quantity so let me write this down for you q u a n t i t y so this bracket is the quantity so till the time these guys do not get this uh, shares at price of 100 they are not going to be get out till these guys do not sell they will. but the problem is if i come down in the market and say i want to buy um, 500 shares uh, at the market value the moment i put a 500 shares order over here i am going to get 200 shares at 105 and another 200 shares at 110 and i'm going to get 100 shares at the rate 115 and all these three people will be out of the market because they've already sold their, sold their shares and we've got the shares. So what uh, smart people think, I mean, or retail people who don't want to learn uh, about charts, they think that if they have a look at this, or the two particular boxes, they will try to find out where is the demand or where is the supply. And if this quantity over here exceeds this quantity over here, which means there is more supply than demand. And that is not true. Why? Because when somebody is buying these values let me just draw them in line these values could be iceberg orders actually that could be 10,000 shares here so there would be somebody who wants to buy the stock of 100 rupees at 10 with a quantity of 10,000 but since he is putting an iceberg order only 10 of them are shares which means the moment a seller wants to start selling what he is going to do is he is going to put either what is called as a market order to sell and the moment he puts market order the same situation which happened on the buying side will happen on the sell side iceberg order of 10,000 shares and only 10 of them are, are displayed so what uh, what when somebody puts a market order of let's say about 20,000 shares the buyer wants to buy 10,000 shares so first of all uh, this column will get taken out because he will get 10,000 shares then this column will get taken out because he also gets sold off 10,000 shares so when both these guys sold or get sold off of 10,000 shares the next person in line will be this which means depth of market or market depth does not take into consideration market orders and two it does not take into consideration what is called as iceberg orders and three it does not consider take into consideration hidden orders now what is the difference between iceberg orders and hidden orders hidden orders are plain vanilla orders which basically hide the information they are plain vanilla orders iceberg orders are orders which are manufactured or which are which is a uh, algorithm which is written by extremely high-end softwares where you can customize this algorithm so you have to buy a software for it and uh, mostly high-end uh, trading platforms mostly high-end treasuries of the world have iceberg order systems so uh, you can actually customize whatever the way you want to customize it so it does not take into consideration market order iceberg order and hidden orders yeah and uh, so hence uh, I am going to come back to this point and say that depth of market cannot be used so while all retail people in the market who don't know this phenomena can end up using thinking that this is uh, a sacrosanct information it is not so thanks guys uh, thanks for your time uh, this is chetan pudar yeah
explaining this to you and if you like this uh, video there are more videos uh, for you